Hello everybody and welcome back to Ugly Dog Lures. Let's paint a thread fin shad ugly dog style. If you're new here to my channel I just want to welcome you. Remember to hit that like, subscribe, and share these videos out. Folks, uh, three colors. Color shift, blue flash, opaque black, and opaque yellow. That's our three colors that we're gonna use on this bait. We're gonna do it on a 2.5 square bill. So you know what, there ain't nothing like the present. Let's just jump right on in here and get to this thing. Well, we're gonna start with our opaque yellow. Let's uh, give her a good shake there. Don't you start being mean to me already. I'm just wondering how you're going to get away with it only using three colors. Well, honestly, because I can't. You need to quit throwing your crap on my very clean paint booth. Your very clean paint booth. Yeah. Needs some TLC. Okay, we're going to start with yellow, and we're just going to paint that yellow right down that lateral line on this bait and try not to get any up on the gill. We're gonna lay that belly white on this bait. See there? That's pretty good for an old blind feather. not straight. Hey, it's not supposed to be straight. It's following the lateral line, Chica. Why are you being mean to me on a Sunday? Because this isn't coming out for Chica. And if you want to, you can paint that whole top of that bait yellow. Cause you're gonna paint back over it anyway. So that's just personal preference. That's for what you do there. So I did what I wanted to do, so you do what you want to do, folks. I don't paint a whole lot of baits like this, but I wanted to do something different. So I decided to do something different today. Stray from my normal a little bit. You have a normal? Kinda. That's scary in itself. I have an abnormal normal. Abnormal normal. Yeah. Well, I hope everybody's Thanksgiving went really well for y'all. Ours was okay. Got to see some family and that's what, what it's all about. Right, Melissa? Yep. I think that's probably dry up by now. I've been jacking with that brush over there for a few minutes. So. Maybe you should blow it dry just in case. Why don't you blow it? See, I told you folks, she's always telling me to do things. Look at the camera. I don't <laughs> want to look at the camera. <laughs> Just making sure. So our next color our, we're going with is our color shift blue flash. And this is a bait that we have to mix, thin out a bait. 
the paint we have to thin out. So we just got a little bitty bit in there. Some of this 4011. And we'll start thinning it out. Kind of going to shift between blue, green, and purple. What it's going to do. I knew you weren't going to get away with three colors because you already got white and now you've got blue, green, and purple. So that's six colors. You're crazy. He done lost your mind, lady. Mm -hmm. Set that. And we're going to jump up in here. Working on darkening it up a little bit. Go ahead and make that head color shift on that deck. One more coat. Just gonna leave a little bit of that yellow down there. Now we'll jump on to the other side and work on it a little bit. Let's just go ahead and do that whole head. And that color just a little green black over it. There we go. That's gonna be a pretty cool little bait. I like the said, color. Said and done. Yeah. We got a couple more steps to go through. And we'll have her where we want her. We'll jump out here with a little bit of this opaque black. Is that okay with you? No, not really. But... Okay. I know you're just mean about black. Well. It's such a pretty light colored bait. Maybe yeah. it's like black all over it. And nobody say I was gonna put black all over it. The only thing we're gonna do is black to back. Contrast. Yeah. So why would you do that? Does that make it more appealing to more baits? Yes. Make more fish? Yeah. You can come on down and you can go around the gill plate if you wanted to, but I don't want to. I want to stop right there. Pretty nice looking little bait there. Melissa, too bad we're not through yet. I love that you almost just forgot my name. I wasn't even close to forgetting your name today. Yeah. Okay, folks, we got our uh, shad dots on. And I put it about a quarter inch back from the gill plate, right above the line on each side there. Uh, we got our eyes on and we chose a sapphire blue eye for this bait. Thread fin shad, easy. Anybody can do it. You can choose your own colors. I did uh, color shift blue, uh, detail wicked yellow with a black back, and I left the whole head blue on this bait. Uh, easy. So now we're going to put our water slide on. I'm going to attempt to put a water slide on. Let it stay there in the water a few minutes, or not a few minutes, about 30 seconds. In the same minute, it's going to be sliding all over the place. You put that much water on it. Hey, you need to be nice to old people. So what this water slide is, it's our label. Okay. 
it won't slide at all off of there. Maybe it needs a little more time. It's a very pretty bait. It'll be a very good bait to use. Guarantee it'll catch fish. You can't guarantee that it's going to catch fish. Uh, yeah, I think I probably can. I think you probably can because you're not the one fishing it. If you're fishing it, maybe you can guarantee it'll catch fish, but you can't guarantee that for other people. Hey there, uglydoglures at gmail.com. It just says ugly dog lures, babe. No, it don't. Oh, you put the other one on there. I put an older one on there. Now we're going to let that dry up for a minute. We'll get our epoxy ready to go. No, 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 no. So, folks, if there's anything I can do to help you new painters along the way, just email me at uglydoglures at gmail.com and I'll answer any questions I can. What I do works for my, my system. So, anything I can do to help y'all, let me know. What I was doing there was just warming my epoxy just a little bit. It's kind of cold today. Kind of cool in the shop. I got a heater, but I got it set real low back down in the 50s. So it don't come on too often. And it, it's enough to keep my paint from freezing. That would be bad. So we're using BSI epoxy. One cc of epoxy, one cc of hardener for this 2.5 square bill. Cool, cool. That's better than cable TV, folks. I know, cable TV is pretty great. No, it ain't. <laughs> it's bad. We were just commenting on that, too. And it's getting worse. This tour, I don't even want to watch TV anymore. I watch some YouTube, but as far as TV goes, nah. Okay, let's put some epoxy on this bad boy there, Bob. This ain't gonna be gorgeous. See it shifting? I do. I want to say congratulations to my blushing bride. For what? For marrying me. Oh. Gotcha. She won a drawing yesterday from New Hope Fishing Lures. Oh, I did. And she he did was my... so happy about it, too. <laughs> Excuse me. Allergies, folks. <clears throat> and she's getting like eight or nine lures. And she's already said she's not going to share with me, so... Nope, I already got my cases waiting. Just want to tell her congratulations. I'm very happy for her. I should have gone and bought a lottery ticket <clears throat> yesterday. Yeah, you should have. She's worse about fishing and lures than I am, folks. <laughs> she was on, we took, I took her to lunch today. Which wasn't very good. It really wasn't. And uh, she was on to the fishing lure store buying blanks. You weren't supposed to be telling people that. <laughs> yeah. She's a pretty good painter herself. And I wish she would get up here and do more painting, but if she put me over there behind that camera, y'all never would see anything. Well, folks, you could come in here and you could red that chin. You could put a little red around underneath there and even dress this bait up more. But this is a very simple bait that anybody can paint. It's a good looking bait. There she is. Look at that, Melissa. That is pretty. Yeah, very beautiful bait. 
and we're gonna get her hung up over here to to dry. I don't know that there's anything else we want to talk about other than we're going to be live Thursday night at Six Mountain Standard. You want to show them up there a little closer? I can. How pretty that is. How simple that bait is to paint. Gorgeous. Uh, you can choose your own colors. That's just my colors that I use. So I want everybody to have a very blessed week. And hopefully we'll see you Thursday night. So we'll catch you later.